Going into 2024, the thing I've learned through 2023 is that there is no wrong way. Even if you feel you didn't do well, it's all part of the whole. As Lao Tzu quotes, Under heaven all can see beauty as beauty only because there is ugliness. All can know good as good only because there is evil. There is no win without failure, no lessons without ignorance, and no happiness without sadness. What I want to say is you're doing okay and everything is as it should be. Hi, things are a little different now. I'm not in the UK anymore. Before I get started on anything and explain anything, uh, here with Yuki, as you guys remember, I haven't started her. I haven't even gone over to her since I've gotten back. I've been saving this to see if she starts. And I'm really nervous about it because the sun is shining. Oh, that feels so good though. It's been so long since I've seen the sun. Let's go and try and start Yuki before we get into this. All right. It's weird having the steering wheel on this side. All right, let's try this. If she, if she starts up on the first go, I'm gonna be really impressed because she never even did that when I was driving her, so let's see. A little rumbly. <laughs> She's still good to go. That means we can still do adventures in her. I was, it is a bit shaky, but it was doing that before. So let's see if she drives all right. I'm just gonna like drive her down here a little bit and see what happens. It, it might be like, oh, of course she starts up. But you know, you have to understand that she's a, I don't have a lot of faith in her because she's so old and so high mileage. She has 268,512 miles on her. Definitely no worse whenever I left her, so we still have a vehicle. Life in the country is a lot slower, which I prefer now because I need time to regroup to figure out more exciting new adventures to go on. The last time I was here, which was a while ago, um, I made pineapple cardamom ginger wine, and this is it. So I'm going to re-bottle it and put it in here as it is finished wine. I also wanted to try it too, so this is probably like, how long has it been since I've been here? Like four or five months? I'm just gonna, I siphoned this before, so it should be fine to go. It didn't mold or anything, which is great. So I'm just gonna put this in here, and hopefully this will work. It's not a very big funnel. This is my second time making wine. The other time I made pine, uh, pine needle wine from pine needles. And this one, you know, keep into the pine theme, pineapple. But I'm curious to know how this tastes because I have not tried it yet. So we'll try it. Oh, we don't want the sediment at the bottom. So we have our official, officially done wine that I made myself. Look at me homesteading. <laughs> so let's have a try. Oh, that is sour. My other stuff definitely tasted better. It definitely tastes very, oh, well, this stuff is sour. It's dry wine. Yeah, I mean, it tastes like wine. You like it? It's sour. Yeah, it's good, but it's still sharp. So it needs to sit more? Yeah, probably. It does taste like wine, <laughs> that's for sure. I definitely taste the cardamom. I think that's what it is. Definitely tasting that, the, the spices that I put in it for sure. Anyways, that's that. We'll let it sit longer and see what happens. Another thing that I need to do now that I'm here and I can is my ice baths again because I haven't done those for months. And I feel like they're really good for me. And since it's so cold outside, I'm gonna fill the tub back up. It's brutal. Also, I have my heated coat again that I got last year, I think. I got this off my wish list. So let's fill the ice, the ice bath back up. I'm definitely not happy about the cold 
but you have to just kind of adapt with whatever environment that you're in. So we just kind of have to deal with it because that's where we're at right now. I would like to, to go back out west. It's just a matter of getting Yuki up to par or getting a vehicle that can make that journey again. Because to be honest, I was really stressed, you know, driving Yuki, although it was an amazing adventure and that's probably part of it. You know, you never know what's going to happen. It was so stressful because you just never know if she's gonna break down. But I don't know, like comment below. She has so many miles on her, but I don't know if I should continue to fix her up or if I just try and sell her and get a whole new vehicle. Jeep, most likely, but I just don't know what to do. Cause it's just like, should I invest more into, I don't know. There she is, hauling her beauty. I also got this off my wish list, which I was not expecting. It has been an amazing present that I can use year after year. And if I don't use it again, I can always use it for the livestock, you know? Oh my God. Oh, earlier today, something hit the window and I looked out and I couldn't see anything. <laughs> the bird hit the window and died. Oh, that's, well, hopefully it died immediately. Oh, that's so sad. It's the bird that hit the window. It died. Yeah. Oh, you should stuff it. You could learn how to bird stuff. Oh, they here. do that. That'd be so cute. That's tragic. Here is our new tub area. And I'll have to fill this all up and then it's gonna get all icy. What do you guys think? Should I um, abandon my Jeep adventures and do tractor stuff? Kind of been snowing on and off but not enough to stick um i feel like the temperature is a lot more doable here versus the uk because it's like there is still some sunshine and it's not like so rainy and gloomy um it's just a little less depressing weather wise i think oh so the reasoning why i'm back in the states again and why i pretty much did this same exact thing last year of leaving from the uk and coming back to america and being like everything has to change and everything did change it did not in the way I was expecting it to. And this year is no different. It's another change that I have to still figure out like last year at the same time. And um, I like every year to be different. You know, you never know what you're gonna get. I don't know what I'm going to get. I felt very stifled in England. I grew up on the country. I'm used to lots of land. I'm used to kind of doing the things that I wanna do. And it was very difficult to do where I was at in the UK. The main reason for leaving is obviously I couldn't afford it anymore. It's so incredibly expensive. And I mean, the prices everywhere in the world are astronomical, but especially, you can see the snow. Sorry, there's chickens mating right in front of me. But yeah, there's, there's pros and cons to both ways. Um, I always used to be opposed to kind of living in America because I'm like, I want to live abroad. And I think it's better for me to travel abroad, but maybe still try and live in America because it's just easier because I'm American. It's very hard to live in the UK as a non-British person. You know, with the pound being worth a lot more than the dollar and all this stuff, like it, rent is expensive, r accommodation is tiny. It's really hard having a vehicle, um, just not even doable. The, the Tenku is left with uh, the other owner in the UK um, and I don't really have plans on going back to Brighton. It's probably goodbye to Tenku. It was, it, was, um, it was fun. It was fun to overland and do stuff in, in England. It's def definitely a different experience and I really liked it. It's time to move on from that. And I'm glad that I did it. And I'm glad that I'm back now too. If anybody wants to pay my registration, you can. <laughs> home again, home again. Oh, isn't it nice? It's a couple dead flies, but otherwise lovely. Still need to put this solar panel up. Even though Tanku was very decked out, it didn't feel like mine and it's not really, I'm just leaving it with um, someone else. So it's not mine anymore. And we're just gonna focus on this. Like I couldn't drive it and feel comfortable, you know? Like, yeah, it was just really stressful trying to drive in the UK because I could have done it. It's just, I realize it's really not where I wanna live and be. And there's different reasons why I was there. Um, maybe I'll cover this some other time. I'm just gonna fix Yuki up some more or try and save for a different vehicle or whatever. And just, 
try to find something more sustainable because it just was not sustainable. And I really missed the West. I'd think about it all the time and how much adventure and fun I could have. And I just felt so free. And I couldn't, I didn't feel like that in England as much, even though I did see some pretty things. Um, getting back here was an incredibly long, terrible journey. Um, I got a 17 hour flight. I'm like, okay, I can do that. It turned into like way more than that. I had a six hour layover in Boston and then an eight hour delay. This is JetBlue. I have a bone to pick with JetBlue. They made us wait eight hours without any accommodation, without any credit. And they said, we can't give you, because they didn't have enough pilots. And so we had to sit in the gate overnight and sleep. This is hell. Sleep, I didn't sleep, but oh, that, was just, that was hell. It was not fun, but there's always trouble. You just never know at airports. It's, there's always something that goes wrong. This is why I'm making a YouTube video that's not like crazy good or anything like that, but I really wanted to put something out for you guys for the new year and just to connect with you guys again because I didn't upload last week either. And it has been very difficult. You know, I'm still in like this change and transition of life. So I wanted to figure this out. I'm still keen on the idea of getting land and I would like to still do that. It's just, I depleted all my resources. I have to like save up again and figure out a whole new thing. The difference this time is I, I have a vehicle. I'm gonna answer some questions. Okay, so how old is your car? Mine is a 1998. The one in the UK was a 1997. So they're very close in age. Is Yuki ready for, for adventure? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I haven't even driven her along, like to anywhere yet. So I'm gonna drive her around. I know like when she starts, she starts, she shakes. And I wanna take her over to my dad's and try and mount the motor better or something. I don't know if that's what it is. I'm hoping that's what it is, but it's probably something more complicated than that. I don't know. When are you going to settle down? I would like to settle down. I don't know particularly, what does that even mean? Does that mean like settle down, get a partner, have children, buy a house, things like that? Or does it, settling down for me would be like getting land, like having a partner, um, kind of having a base to travel out from. If that's what you mean, then yes, I would love to do that. And that is a goal of mine. I think it's important to, for me at this point, to have somewhere I can count on going back to and not always come back to my mom, you know what I mean? Which I have no problem with. It's just like, I just want to build something on my own and I've been wanting this for a long time and I feel like everybody wants that, but it just doesn't feel like it's affordable. Settling down, having a partner, having land, building my own thing, you know, having a place to work on my Jeeps or Jeep or whatever would be lovely. I would love that. I change my mind quite often. I know that I don't want to live in England, but like, what else do I want, you know? I feel like I'm on a good trajectory, even though I don't know what I'm doing exactly. I feel like I know more what I don't want, which leads me to more of what I do want. I feel like I've found myself so much over the past year and years. 2023 was unexpected in a lot of ways, a lot of different ways that maybe we'll touch on some other time, but traveling the West, I found so much of myself and so many things I enjoyed and things I didn't even think about. I encourage you guys to, in 2024, to do something you maybe wouldn't normally do and see things from a, a different perspective. And I don't know, it was very helpful for me. I think 2023 was not a bad year for me. I'd go to say it was a pretty good year. I mean, there was definitely some down times and there's like when I was in England, I was feeling pretty trapped and things like that, but that was just a temporary thing. And I feel like overall, I think it was a really good year. I'm hoping 2024 will be even more explorative, more enlightening, you know, inner and outer. I'll do more bigger things and bigger goals. I, one of my goals is to not settle down. I don't want to say that word because it's not settling. It's more of like having a base. One of my goals is to have a base and to get a base in 2024, to have someone to share that with, to to have a vehicle I can really rely on, whether that be Yuki or whether that be somebody something else to explore even more and do a little bit more daring things. Those are some of my goals um, and to learn more about the, my insides, and to learn to cook more. I don't know, it's quite fun for me. But I don't have any solid 2024 goals because I don't really do New Year's resolutions. But if you do have some, comment below. I'm curious as to know what you guys are up to this 2024. I hope you guys had a nice Christmas and I hope you guys have a great new year. So happy new year. Thank you for being here with me, even though it's always chaotic and I never know what I'm doing. I'm glad that you guys can stick around and at least I have my loyals. So thank you very much for 2023. You guys made it way better than it would have been otherwise. Stay extraterrestrial and I'll see you in 2024.